um, pictures. So it's pretty straightforward. This thing was attached to the top. So you want to detach the bottom wires and simply just snip it off, snip it off. And so they are separated from the top motor. And then I grabbed the red one. Okay. And I have to use some extra wires because they're not long enough. But on the newer machines, we, we change the wiring all that stuff to you know so this is done at the factory so the red one you just take the red one and you plug it into the the negative polarity right the second slot right there okay so that's pretty straightforward and then you look for this red power wire coming from the speed controller right so and this right here right so and again i need to use some extenders so they were one but i cut so what i had done is i taken this wire okay the the one going from the speed controller the red one i snipped it in the middle and when i snipped it in the middle now what i want to do is connect this black line from the motor with that line okay so since i cut the red motor there's two sides so then now there's three wires I need I need it to connect. But these two, once I cut them, I couldn't get them to, they were too short, right? So I grabbed two more wires to extend them and then met the black line right here. Um, so pretty straightforward is I just, I'm just connecting the, the, power, uh, the power line to, to the black line and the red line goes straight to the power supply. And as a result, now when you turn on the machine, okay, so prep center goes on, everything is fine. And but now when I turn on the speed controller, zero setting, this doesn't move, but this moves at a constant speed. All right, so now as a result, this thing's always spinning. And the speed controller and the speed controller runs independently. So the speed controller is only con controlling this one, and this one is always always moving at full speed. And as a result, it provides a much better um, improved case rotation and much more even uh, annealing as well. Cool. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.